Well, hey there, little farmers. This is Farmer Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm. And are you guys ready for a fun farm adventure today? Me too. Well, let's go. Well, guess what, guys? Guess what I have planned for us and the farm animals today? We're gonna have fun with pumpkins. You guys like pumpkins? Well, I love pumpkins, but we're gonna find out today if our animals like pumpkins. And I got a little special surprise. I wanna find out if a certain animal here on the farm can actually help carve a pumpkin. But before we do any of that, we need to move the chickens in their egg mobile. And would you guys like to help us do that? Awesome. Well, let's get to going and let's have some fun with some pumpkins. High five, Nugget. All right. All right, my little farmers, here is the yellow egg mobile. And this is our portable chicken coop. And what portable means, that means it can be moved. It's not stuck in one spot. And we like to move this chicken coop all around our property to give our chickens and cheese the goose fresh new ground to be on. Plus, the chickens actually fertilize my soil, which makes my soil way better that I can grow a bigger and better garden in. So you guys are going to help us move the eggmobile, okay? little farmers we have the rectangle yellow egg mobile moved so now it's time we let the chickens out are you guys ready here we go y'all ready chickens hmm are y'all ready all right you guys go look at your new area yeah go look it's awesome. Go look. Oh my gracious, look. How much fun, right? Yeah. Look at this. Look at the chickens eating the, look at them eating the plants and they'll eat the seeds and they'll eat bugs and just scratch around. Hey, cheese and have a good old time out here in this new area for them. Just look. Wow. Oh, guess what, little farmers? Our big buddy, Eleanor, over there at Head Family Farm has a fun fact about chickens. Hi, my name is Eleanor, and I live at Head Family Farm. This is my silky chicken, Bon Bon. Silky chickens are a special breed of chickens. Their feathers look like hair, and that's because their feathers don't have barbs on them. See how her feathers look like hair? Silky chickens also have a crest and a beard. Silky chickens are my favorite kind of chickens because they're so sweet. You can see, right? See what? That is wonderful, Eleanor. Thank you so much for that awesome fun fact about chickens. Now, the area we got our chickens in right now is really large because this is where our spring and summer garden was. And we grew all kind of cool things out here in our spring and summer garden this past year. We grew tomatoes, we grew peppers, cucumbers, squash, zucchini, and we even grew some eggplants. Well, since we got our chicken friends moved, you guys know what? I think we ought to give them a challenge, a fun challenge that they will thoroughly enjoy. You know what that is? Let's see if these guys can carve a pumpkin. That sound like fun? 
I think so too. So let's go get some pumpkins and bring them in here to the chickens and let's see if these guys can carve a pumpkin. All right, little farmers. I'm inside my greenhouse and this is where I like to start all my seeds for my garden is inside my greenhouse. Have you guys ever been inside a greenhouse? They're really not green. They're typically clear because what a greenhouse does, it allows the sun rays to come inside of the greenhouse because of the clear plastic or clear glass that's on it. And it holds that heat that the sun rays bring in. If you've ever been in a greenhouse, that's probably the first thing you notice that it's quite warm in there. And that's where I got my pumpkins right now. And you all probably know or seen a pumpkin like this one. Do you guys know what color pumpkin this is? That's right, it is orange. But pumpkins come in all different shapes and colors. Like, look at this pumpkin. Do you guys know what color this one is? You got it. This is a white pumpkin. And look how small it is compared to these much larger pumpkins. And this is not even really a large pumpkin. Pumpkins can get huge. They have these contests all over the United States to see who can grow the biggest pumpkin that year. And those pumpkins get huge and some weigh over 2,000 pounds. That's over a ton. Whoo, that's one big pumpkin. But look at this pumpkin and look at the shape of it compared to the other ones. And look at the color of this pumpkin. It's kind of like a green and a tannish orange color. Well, we're gonna take some of these orange pumpkins out to the animals and this is what we're gonna see if the chickens can carve. And I'm gonna take some other pumpkins out to the other farm animals like the goats and the cows and the pigs and Miss Jessie, our donkey, and see how they react to the pumpkins. And I think it might be really, really fun and funny. <laughs> All right, let's gather up our pumpkins and let's go. All right, little farmers, I got my pumpkin right here and I'm gonna have to give the chickens just a little bit of help because a pumpkin's got a really, really tough skin and outer shell. And I think it's just a little too tough for the chickens to, ape, to be able to pick through it. So we're gonna give them a little bit of help and we're gonna make a face on it as well. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here's our pumpkin. And I think what we'll do is we'll make some triangles for the eyes. And do you guys remember what a triangle is? It has three sides to it. We got one, two, three. So that makes a triangle. All right, so we got our two triangles for the eyes. Let's do another triangle for his nose. Okay, we got three triangles now. So let's make him a mouth. Let's kind of make him a, like a big grin, like he's smiling. Okay, guys. Here is our pumpkin. So this gives the chickens an area that they can actually peck through instead of this tough, hard shell that a pumpkin has. So now there's only one thing left to do, and that's take our pumpkin here over to the chickens and let's see if they can finish carving it out for us. Y'all ready? <laughs> Me too, let's go. All right, here we are out here with the chickens and I got their pumpkin. Let's see what they do. Look here guys, got y'all a pumpkin. The little farmers and I are wondering if you guys would finish carving that pumpkin out for us. So we'll be back after a while and check on you guys and see how far y'all got with carving out our pumpkin. All right, so while the chickens continue to carve out the pumpkin, we're gonna go take the other pumpkins to some more animals here on the farm and let's see how they react. I wonder if they'll like pumpkins or not. 
This is gonna be fun. Okay, Cheese and the rest of you guys, y'all do a good job on the pumpkin, okay? And we'll be back a little bit later and see what the pumpkin looks like. Okay, Ryan the rooster? All right. All right, little farmers, I got us another big old orange pumpkin, but this time I wanna cut these pumpkins up for the animals. Have you guys ever seen the inside of a pumpkin? If you haven't, you might be surprised what the inside looks like. So this is the inside of a pumpkin. Look at there. And look at all of the seeds inside of a pumpkin. And that's just one little piece here. But it's really hollow. Once you get the inside out right here, it's really hollow. And it's not real juicy, like a watermelon. Now, I know of some farm animals here that are going to love pumpkins, which are really healthy for them. But some of the other farm animals, I'm not too sure about. So let's go find out. Okay, little farmers, our first stop is the pigs, Gus and Loretta. And I pretty much know that they love pumpkins but I want you guys to see what happens when Loretta gets a pumpkin it's quite funny y'all can see Miss Loretta is right there but Loretta has a hard time hearing so she doesn't know I'm here yet but she will hey Mr. Gus how you doing buddy are you ready for a pumpkin hmm I think you love pumpkins yeah I do Let's get one for you, okay? Okay, buddy, here you go. Oh, Gus loves pumpkins. Yes, he does. Now let's go give Loretta her pumpkin. Now I want Loretta to see me. I don't want to scare her since Loretta can't hear very good. So I'm walking around here so she can see me first. There we go. Hey, Loretta, look what I got you. It's a pumpkin, yes. Norella, Norella, there goes Loretta. She loves to run with them. <laughs> when Loretta gets something new, this is what she does, y'all. She likes to carry it around and run with it. <laughs> oh, she's so silly. Look. Loretta. Okay. Okay. She's through with her victory lap. Nope. Nope. We're going to run some more. <laughs> I don't think she can even see where she's going hardly. Now, Mr. Gus, he doesn't do that. He just eats away. He doesn't do that victory lap like Loretta does. Let's go over here and see what Loretta thinks. Loretta, how are you liking your pumpkin? It's pretty good, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, you gonna run some more? Okay. <laughs> there she goes, y'all. Now, how silly is that? <laughs> Okay, let's go see if any of the other animals love pumpkins. Okay, little farmers, we're over here at our barn and we have officially moved our emu nugget and you can probably hear it already, right? Our alarm system too, over to their new, much larger pasture. But let's find out if Nugget may like a pumpkin. Why, well, hello, Nugget. I was curious to see if you may like to try some pumpkin. I don't think Nugget's ever seen a pumpkin. See what you think. He's looking at it. Here he comes. Take a look at there, buddy. I think he's going to get one of those seeds. You going to get a seed? Here, try it. Nope. It may be safe to say that emus don't really care for pumpkins. Well, I tell you guys what, I'm gonna set it down on the ground just in case he may come back and wanna try it. Okay, Nugget, there you go. Why, hello, goats. 
I got a little surprise for you guys. And of course, I got something for Miss Peaches too, because y'all know Peaches is a pig. So I know Peaches loves pumpkins. But let's see if the goats love pumpkins. What do you guys think? Do y'all think the goats are gonna like the pumpkins? Well, let's go find out. So I got three pieces here. I got one, two, three of this beautiful orange pumpkin because I got several animals over here and I wanna make sure everybody gets a piece. Look at here. What do y'all think? Let's go over here. Come on over here, guys. Hey, Paris. I got some pumpkins. Let's see what you think. Oh my goodness. Well, y'all, I think it's safe to say that the goats are loving the pumpkins. Wowzers. I think they may like the pumpkins more than the pigs do. Let me go get some more, okay? There's a lot of you guys over here. Okay, Miss Peaches, I got you one, okay? There you go, Peaches. There's your pumpkin. I know Peaches loves pumpkins. That's one of her favorite things in the world is pumpkins. Mmm. <laughs> Jesse, I don't, Jesse looks like she may not care for the pumpkins. No, not really. Okay, okay, that's okay. So the goats absolutely love the pumpkin. But Miss Jessie, the donkey, she didn't care for it. But let's see what Mildred thinks. Mildred is our cow. Look, Mildred, I got some pumpkins here. You wanna see if you want some? See what you think. She's smelling it. Looks like she's taking a little bite of it. What do you think, Mildred? Hmm? What do you think about the pumpkins? Hmm? What do you think? You like it? Not really? Okay. Well, it was worth a try. So it doesn't look like the cows like pumpkins. But that's okay, because there's plenty of goats in here that will enjoy it. <laughs> oh, Mildred, do you mind if I give that piece of pumpkin to the goats? I didn't think so. Yeah. Oh, goodness, you're such a sweetie. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let's give this piece of pumpkin to the goats, okay? All right, because I know the goats love it. Look guys, I got y'all another piece. Mildred didn't care for it too much, okay? There you go. Boy, Capri loves it. Hey Topper, guess what we did? The little farmers and I, we took a whole pumpkin, right? Over to the Eggmobile to see if the chickens could carve out a pumpkin. What do you think? Do you think they can do it? I do too. I think the chickens are gonna do an excellent job at carving out that pumpkin. But here you go, you can enjoy your pumpkin. Well, little farmers, guess what? I just saw Miss Jessie over there eating some pumpkin. So, I think at first she thought, mm, I really don't want to try this because it's something new. But when she actually tried it, she liked it. And look, Miss Jessie is loving the pumpkin. Look at her eat it up. Well, hello, Miss Jessie. I saw that you were actually loving the pumpkins now. Yeah, at first, I think you were a little nervous about trying something different. But once you tried it, you realized you actually loved it. You know, sometimes trying new things is kind of hard. 
But when we do try new things, we may find out we like something totally different and new. Right? Just like you trying that pumpkin. Yeah. Look. <laughs> oh. Jesse now loves pumpkins. And hugs. Oh, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, did you hear me and Topper talking? We put a whole pumpkin over there with the chickens, and we're going to see if they can carve it out for us, okay? And we'll go check on it here in just a little bit and see what they've done. And I'll come back and let you guys know if the chickens were able to carve a pumpkin or not, okay? farmers let's go check and see if these chickens have finished carving out that pumpkin what do you guys think i think they can do it i really do i think i got some super chickens here on my farm <laughs> all right chickens here we come let's see what you guys did to the pumpkin Let's see. Oh, there's, look, look. Look, y'all. It looks like they're still carving on it. Okay, well, let's see what they've done. Oh my gracious, y'all, look. <laughs> y'all, look how well the chickens did on this pumpkin. I think they did a fabulous job. Who would have thought a chicken could finish carving out a pumpkin? You did an excellent job. Yes, all of y'all did wonderful. Y'all really did, and y'all not even through, are you? Have it it. <laughs> I must say, I personally think they did the most wonderful job carving out that pumpkin. What do you guys think? Do y'all think the chickens did a pretty good job on it? I do too. I gotta go tell everybody else how great the chickens did at carving the pumpkin. Moody, guess what? Did you see what those chickens did? Man, they did an amazing job at carving out that pumpkin. Yeah. Boys, did y'all see it, Mo and Joe? Man, it looks good. It really does. I'm gonna go tell the rest of the gang about it, okay? But Nugget, do I have some news to tell you, buddy? The chickens finished carving out the pumpkin for us and it looks awesome. Can you believe that? Yeah, those are some smart chickens over there now, I'm gonna tell you, yeah. Hey Jesse, guess what? The chickens actually carved out the pumpkin. I told you I was gonna come back over here and let you know, and they did it. Mildred, I got great news. The chickens actually carved out the pumpkin, and they did a real good job too. Okay, little farmers, I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did with the pumpkins and with our animals today. And I cannot wait to see you guys on the next episode. So always remember to be kind and y'all be good. Yeah.